flowers lay at the gate of a Point Grey house owned by 50-year-old murder victim Xu Min Wu, just meters from where she and 39-year-old Ying Ying Sun were found shot to death in a car parked on the side street. Today, two women came to the door to talk to CBC. They were distraught and asked not to be shown on camera. Can contact the police, ask the police. Okay. But Miss Wu did live in this house. This is her house. Yeah. No arrests have been made in the double homicide. Vancouver police say the investigation is still in the early evidence collecting stage and will take time. Just based on the circumstances um, of how the victims were discovered and all of the evidence that we've collected so far, uh, it has all the, the hallmarks of being a, a, a targeted. When I say targeted, um, I mean that uh, whoever uh, shot these victims intended to kill them. It wasn't a random attack. The bodies of the two women were found by a passer by Sunday morning, but neighbors tell us they heard what sounded like fireworks late Saturday night. Pop, 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 pop. And I thought, huh? Do I investigate? And then I heard some voices and I thought, well, this is teenagers in the back alley with firecrackers. According to Rose, police had to console family members who arrived at the murder scene Sunday night. You know, there were uh, three uh, middle-aged or uh, slightly younger uh, Mandarin-speaking women uh, wailing and then the, the female officer uh, ministering to them. Police aren't saying if the two victims were shot from inside or outside the vehicle or what their relationship was. Karen Larson, CBC News, Vancouver.